Hello, in this video I'm going to describe how to use Taylor series to find finite difference formulae. I'm going to assume I have a function f, it's a function only of space x, and f is known at points, uh, known at position x, j minus 1, xj and xj plus 1 and I'm going to call that f j minus 1, f j and f j plus 1 and these positions x here are a distance delta x apart. Now I want to find the gradient at this point given these three points so I'm going to call that f j dash. So what I want to do is I want to find f j dash from fj minus 1, fj and fj plus 1. So I'm going, I need to write down some Taylor series approximations. Uh, have to, first of all, I have to think which ones to write down. So I know that, and I want to find that. I don't want to introduce too many unknowns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down Taylor series approximations for fj plus 1 and fj minus 1 centred around fj. So I'll start with fj plus 1. fj plus 1 is equal to fj plus delta x fj dash plus delta x squared over 2 factorial fj double dash plus, this of course goes on forever, so I'm just going to say order term delta x cubed. It's always difficult to know how far to go and where to stop when you're doing these. And if you're not sure, go, go further than you think you'll need. So I know I'll definitely need to go that far because that's what I want to find. I'm not sure if I'll need to go that far, so I'll include that one and go further. And now fj minus 1. So this is now minus delta x because fj minus 1 is a distance minus delta x from xj fj dashed plus delta x squared over 2 factorial so that delta x squared is now minus delta x squared fj double, da double dashed uh, plus order delta x cubed I don't say minus there because this order means uh, uh, proportional to so that constant of proportionality could be negative or positive so let's see what we have I know these I want to find this I don't know this. This is my largest unknown, so I want to eliminate it. How am I going to eliminate this from these two equations? I'll do this equation minus this equation. So that's going to give me fj plus 1 minus fj minus 1 is equal to that minus that disappears. That minus that is 2 delta x fj dash. That minus that disappear, disappears, so I've just got plus terms of order delta x cubed and they don't cancel out because the constant of proportionalities are likely to be different. So when I rearrange this to find fj dash, fj dash is equal to fj plus 1 minus fj minus 1, took the 2 delta x over to the other side, uh, plus order. So now I divide this by delta x, so that goes to order delta x squared. And the constant of proportionality of changes. So this is now my finite difference formula for the gradient at fj, so that's fj dashed, using the surrounding points. It doesn't in fact use fj and it's second order accurate. The error is proportional to delta x squared, which is the same, which is what you'd have guessed. Uh, the gradient here is going to be, the best estimate from these is going to be that minus that divided by twice the distance between them. But using the Taylor series, we can say how accurate it's going to be.